so today what I have for you is a little bit of a tutorial, a little bit of a walkthrough, and a little bit of a speed paint. Um, I will be drawing Pearl in Illustrator, and as you can see, I have the sketches done already. I sketched this back in like April or so, and just got around to doing it, and I'm doing it with my trackpad. Um, so what I did for the the iris, the color part of the eye, that thingy, I used the ellipse tool, and then for the outer part of the eye and the eyelashes, I'm using the pen tool and making each section, so to speak, its own separate object. I'm making the crease of her eye gray because her skin is a light grayish blue, and I thought that that might look better than making it black. And then to get the shinies in the eye, all I did was use the Art Blob paintbrush tool thingy. And then, to get the eye on the other side, all I did was copied and then pasted and went to Object Reflect. Now what I'm doing is on a layer underneath where I started to make the face, I'm drawing out the shape of the head as well as the neck and shoulders, and making each part of this its own separate shape, and then once I'm done I will be hiding it so that I can just go back to uh, drawing in her face, and being able to see the guidelines underneath. And now to do the inner of the eye, I'm doing the ellipse tool again, and to get this shape to go behind all the other shapes, you can either right click and send to back, or you can do command um, left bracket if you're on a Mac. I'm not sure about if you're on a PC, but I just do that until I get it as far back as it needs to be. And then I'm making her eyebrows very thin and very orange, because her hair is orange. And thin eyebrows just fit her personality, I think. The hair was a little tricky for me because I was kind of stubborn and I didn't want to exactly mess around with everything the proper way because I thought it would take too long, but of course I ended up taking more time doing it my way than if I had done it correctly. So I did the lines and then I remade the shape underneath it and colored it in that way. I ended up not even keeping this outline at the end, so I spent a lot of time on it for nothing, basically. Here I am making the ears for her because I thought that, um, 
The distance between the hair and the face looked weird without putting an ear there. And now I'm drawing the pearl on her forehead, of course. And I just use the ellipse tool for that as well. And now what I'm doing is using the gradient to make it look more like a pearl than a random oval. And then I decided that that looked a little bit weird so I added an outline around it and then changed the color of her eyes to the right color and again went with a gradient to make them more interesting to look at, I guess. Uh, I'm using a radial gradient and yeah, that's it. <laughs> My blur tool was acting really weird and every time I tried to blur something it got really pixelated so I didn't really get to blur as much as I wanted to. Uh, now I'm using the back of the eye to do another gradient but this time it's linear and that's for the shading in the upper part of the eye. And now I'm going to play with the hair outline some more even though I get rid of them in about 5 minutes. added an outline to the eye to make it look a little bit less weird with the stroke tool. I don't think I mentioned that before now, but everything uh, adding an outline is stroke tool. And now I'm going back with another linear gradient on her skin to put shading on her forehead. And if you see, I have the appearance window open because when you do shading, you want to have um, the color in the gradient slightly transparent so what you're going to want to do is go to your appearance window and click on the little square in the bottom of it that's filled in and that will create a new fill so you'll be able to put a transparent gradient on it and your entire section that you're coloring your entire object won't go completely transparent yeah And that's just the way that I went about shading everything after the eyes and of course the neck which I drew that as its own object. When I got rid of the outline it was really really chunky I guess is the word that you could use. Uh, for her hair and so what I did is I took the smoothing tool which can be found underneath your pencil and just ran it over the lines to try and get them to be more smooth and how I wanted them to be but when that didn't work I took the delete anchor tool underneath the pen tool and uh, adjusted them but most of the time the smoothing pencil tool works Now I'm adding her lips, and I think she would have really thin lips, so yeah. And then again, I tried to blur it, but I got like really creepily pixelated so I just decided to not. I usually like to blur out the edges but it was not having it today. So now I'm adding a shine or a highlight by drawing with the paint blob tool and then changing the opacity to screen and then I try to blur your nose pixely again. I don't know why that's happening. If you know, let me know. Please, thank you. 
Um, but in your appearance panel, if you click on the opacity, you can change the setting of your object to screen, multiply, overlay, etc, etc, etc. Now what I'm doing is adding the blush, which I did actually blur. And I just blurred it enough so that it didn't look pixely. And then I put it, I set it to multiply underneath the appearance panel. This was me being stubborn and not moving the blush and fighting with it, trying to select the eye. I was trying to highlight the bridge of her nose here, and I was also trying to do some kind of contour thing, but it didn't work very well, so I just ended up getting rid of it, or most of it at least. And by most of it, I mean this part, where I'm actually trying to contour it, like that would do something. And then I decided that her eyes were too high up, so I moved them down a little more. And that's it. I'm done. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And be sure to check out this video of my Malachite sketch. Thanks. Bye.